Now here's an example of the application of the substitution rule for a definite integral. So uh, here's an old exam question where we try to find a definite integral from 0 to 1600 of 1 over 1 plus the square root of x dx. And uh, we do so by making the following substitution. We choose u equals the g of x equals the square root of x. And uh, now we may replace the g prime of x dx by du, yeah, just like we used to do in the indefinite formulation of the substitution rule. But now we just need to adjust for the integration boundaries. So the integral equals the integral from 0 to 1600 of 1 plus 1 plus the square root of x times, and now we formulate it so that we may make the substitution at once. So we get 2 times the square root of x divided by the 2, square, uh, two times the square root of x dx. So here we recognize the function u and du. So here's du, 1 over 2 square root of x equals du, and uh, 2 square root of x equals u, and uh, the square root of x equals u. So now we can make the necessary replacement. And we know since x ranges from 0 to 1600, we know that u ranges from 0 to 40. Yeah, so now we make the substitution u equals square root of u. So we get 1 plus 1 over 1 plus u times 2 times u du. So this is a way more simple uh, integral, definite integral, which, which we now try to solve for u. So this is equals the integral of 0 for t, 40 of 2u divided by 1 plus u du. And we're going to write this rational function a little bit differently. So this equals 2 minus 2 over 1 plus u du. And having this expression, it's easy to come up with the primitive. So the primi a primitive of 2 equals 2, 2u. And a primitive of minus 2 one plus, divided by 1 plus u equals minus 2 times the log of 1 plus u. Here we're a little bit careful since uh, we still don't know whether or not 1 plus u is non-negative or not, but it is actually. So we evaluate this primitive in the boundary value 0 and 40, then we get 80 minus 2 times the natural logarithm of 41, minus, plug in the 0, so we get 2 times 0 minus 2 times the log of the natural logarithm of 1, which equals 0, so we get as a final answer 80 minus 2 times the natural logarithm of 41.